my name is Professor Henry Kiblangat. I'm the Vice Chancellor of Kabarak University. This is a university that was started in the year 2000 by His Excellency the late President Moy. Uh, but the university started to admit its first batch of students in 2000. And uh, this university has been having students now for the last 22 years. And uh, our philosophy is provision of education in a biblical perspective. Uh, we want to train the mind, we want to train the heart, and we want to train the heart at the hand. So that is it because we want to uh, develop a very, very strong character among our students. And we would like our students to be men and women of integrity, people who are ethical, and people who can fit well uh, in the world of work. Kabarak University has seven schools. And um, the biggest school in this university is a school of business and economics. And in that school, uh, we offer all the business courses that you want to pursue. And our students do quite well in the area of business and economics. We also have the School of Education, uh, Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, we train teachers, we train um, other humanities spe uh, specialization courses. And um, we are doing quite well there as well. We have the School of Law and um, we are boasting of having, I believe, one of the best law schools uh, in the country. We also boast of having one of the best schools of pharmacy in this, in this region. Uh, we have the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, uh, where we offer courses such as clinical medicine, nursing, public health, uh, human nutrition and dietetics. And we also offer a Master's in Family Medicine and Community Care. And I believe uh, many people do not know that, because we train fully qualified doctors at Master's level, and we use um, the mission hospitals as our teaching hospitals. And um, we have graduated a number of uh, cohorts now, and they are doing so well uh, in the medical field. We also have the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology, um, where we have IT, we have computer science, we have um, um, computer forensics and audit, and name it. Uh, we have a number of science and engineering courses that are doing well, including telecommunications. And uh, we have the School of uh, Music and Media. There are many ways through which uh, someone can apply to uh, be admitted in Kabarak University. First of all, we have uh, brochures um, which are available here uh, at the main campus and our city campus. Um, those, uh, our admission forms can also be uh, downloaded from our website www.kabarak.ac.ke and um, those are available anywhere. And, um, uh, this university has open access to everyone who wants to study in our university. And um, uh, what happens is that in this university we focus on um, training the mind. We want people to know. And apart from training the mind, apart from knowledge, we also want to ensure that all the students who pursue different courses have competencies that are required for them to perform what they have trained to do either as employees or self-employed human beings. Because there are two options. Once you clear your university education, you can either get formal employment or you can decide to create your own um, job or work and company and work for yourself. And, and, and one of the th key things that we would like our graduates to have is integrity. And that is why we're providing education from a biblical perspective. Because we want to train the hearts. And you know, you can have regulations you can regulate the way people, you know, what times you need to do work, maybe between five, eight and five. Uh, you c want to regulate how people dress, but there's something you cannot regulate. You cannot regulate the heart. You cannot form a law and say, now this law, you know, speaks to the heart. But we want to teach values uh, through our programs so that the men and women who graduate from Kabarak University shall be men of integrity they will be accountable, they shall be ethical, they shall be transparent, and they shall be those people who are sought after. Because you can have knowledge, you can have the energy, but if you don't have the integrity that is, that is required, you cannot be a success. And we want these men and women to have integrity. 
Uh, Kabarak University is a progressive university and we provide flexible study modes uh, tailored uh, to meet specific student needs. For example, we have fully online programs and um, we are accredited by Commission for University Education to offer fully online uh, programs. In fact, we are one of the universities that has been one of the few universities in Kenya fully accredited by Commission for University Education. And you can actually pursue a degree program in Kabarak University from the comfort of your own space, in your own place, at your own time. And um, so there are those who can do that. And then we also have blended program whereby you have face-to-face -face and online combined. You do part of the program face-to-face -face and you do part of it online. And then you have the fully, uh, you know, face-to-face uh, -face program. So you can choose uh, which mode of study to, 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 to pursue. And I would like to inform you that we have students from even other continents uh, pursuing uh, our degrees uh, from the US, from, from Europe, from Asia, and different parts of this country. Kabarak University has um, the Kabarak University main campus and Nakuru City campus. And we made a deliberate um, decision not to have uh, satellites all over the country uh, because we would like to concentrate in these two locations, provide all the required uh, physical infrastructure and provide quality so that if anybody who wants quality will come to Kabarak University to look for quality here. Because if we have so many satellite campuses, then we shall distribute, we shall spread our resources thin and that may compromise our own quality. And my cue for any satellite campus, it must be a mirror of the main campus. You must provide exactly the same quality that you're providing at the main campus. So we have the two uh, campuses. And uh, the Nakuru City campus is strategic in nature because um, that is uh, the campus where we provide um, part-time programs. Those people who are working within the city would like to come for evening classes or weekend classes. So that cuts uh, significantly on their commute time. And uh, that is why we're doing that. Um, then um, our students uh, can access um, help loans because by law any student who is studying either in a public or a private university is entitled to apply for a help loan, higher education loans board uh, loan. And um, you see that's a loan that is payable upon completion of your studies and if you get a revenue stream. So that is money to be paid anyway um, by the student. And then uh, our students also can apply for bursaries, uh, say by the national government, uh, the, the CDF uh, bursaries and other bursaries. Um, we are also privileged to get some support also from Ratansi Educational Trust. We get some, uh, some bursary from them. And Kabarak University itself has also uh, made deliberate um, uh, steps to uh, ensure that we support our own students. So we have a work study program. When we have needy students who cannot afford to pay their fees, then we give them a work study program. We give them certain hours in a week uh, to work so that um, we can defray part of their fees from what uh, they earn from that work study. And we want to train our students to learn that you go to work to get something. You are not just getting free things. Right, so we are, we are supporting quite a number of students. And we also have a needy student support, support fund. Once we determine that your background is so needy, then we give you support. And um, we support quite a number of students. I think we support up to not less than uh, 100 students every, every, every academic year. Because we have funds that we um, we have invested so that we only apply, you know, we use our interest to meet the fees uh, requirements of those students. And we are actually using our interest because we don't want now to, 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 to complete, uh, to exhaust the principal amount because we want this fund to be there for posterity. And um, we have supported a number of our students and we would, lo we would not want to see any Kabarak University student dropping out. We will do what is humanly possible to ensure that they complete uh, their studies. At the moment, um, I, I admission to, um, to pursue a degree program in, in any Kenyan university is clearly spelled out um, because um, 
The Kenya Universities and Colleges Central Placement Service uh, places all students who uh, meet different course requirements uh, to pursue different courses in different universities. And you know the minimum entry, university entry score is C+. Mm -hmm. So all students who join Kenyan University, Kabarak University included, must have attained a C+. But then now, the specific courses require different mean grades and different um, scores, you know, per subject. Law, for example, has a higher um, cut-off mark. Um, pharmacy, for example, has a higher cut-off mark than maybe um, a BA degree uh, program or, um, you know, even Bachelor of Commerce or any other business course. So we have all those um, set criteria and Kabarak University follows the set uh, criteria and we are compliant. But um, if you maybe, um, maybe you attained a C plus and you maybe want to do perhaps a different course that you don't qualify, then you can even go the route of a diploma program. And then after your diploma program, then you can um, take higher uh, study. Um, maybe pursue a degree program and so on and so forth. Yeah, and those programs are available uh, in the university uh, depending on your own personal requirements. And we can advise you, we can give you specific advice uh, on what to do uh, in order for you to then qualify to pursue a degree program in our university. Cabral University uh, offers um, programs right from uh, degree all the way to PhD. In the School of Business and Economics, we have a number of master's programs in there. We have a number of PhD programs in there. And we have mm -hmm. graduated several PhD holders uh, from this university in the School of Business and Economics. The same applies to the School of Education, Humanities and Social Sciences. We have master's programs, PhD. The School of Law um, has enrolled out um, master's programs, but we are working on those now. Uh, that's the only school, and I, yeah, that's the School of Law. Uh, we are only offering uh, undergrad programs, but we are working on six um, postgraduate programs in law, uh, master's programs. And one of them is a master's program in judicial science, and um, that will be the first one in, of its kind in this country. And we shall be rolling that one out, I think, in the year 2026. But there are some which will be rolling out this year, 2024, and uh, also 2025. Um, in the School of Pharmacy, again, uh, we are actually running an um, under, undergrad program, but we have also uh, developed a master's program in oncology pharmacy. That is the only one, again, in this region, and it has been approved by Commission for University Education, and we shall be rolling that one out in either May or September. That is the first one of its kind. Um, when we, you come to the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, we have Masters in Nursing, Masters in Clinical Medicine, Masters in uh, Public Health and so on and so forth. Even uh, Human Nutrition and Dietetics, we have Masters programs. Science and Engineering, we have Masters programs up to PhD level in IT, foren uh, Computers, uh, Forensics and Audit and so on, name it. We even have a Masters program in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science in the School of Science, Engineering and Technology. Uh, the School of Music and Media, we have Master's, PhD. Outside the academia, um, our students are very active in co-curricular activities. Um, we have uh, made a name in, um, in rugby. Our students uh, participate in rugby from the lowest levels to the highest level. Uh, we participate also in swimming, we participate in ball games, we participate in athletics and um, it's an area we want to strengthen because we are uh, situated where uh, athletic champions uh, come from. Uh, we are also very good in, um, in, in, um, in the games of the mind like chase and uh, name it. Our students, you know, compete up to the national level. Um, even martial arts. Um, our, our lady students are very good in martial arts, so I, I tell the male students to be careful. You, you, they, you know, <laughs> we are fellows who are very good defense mechanisms, and I remember one of them uh, won uh, and will be participating at the national level. So yes, we have uh, provided also uh, physical facilities to ensure that our students uh, have places to um, develop their talents in terms of gifts and sports. Kabarak University, honestly, in the future uh, is going to be, um, 
we want to create the Harvard of Africa in, 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 in Kabarak University. And um, we are so concerned with quality. And um, our quality is also recognized by different uh, stakeholders um, in, the, in this world. Uh, we have a number of uh, in linkages with industry and also other universities. And um, whoever we have uh, um, linkages with have given us a stamp of authority. In fact, there's a university in West Africa that is uh, sending a student to come and pursue a PhD in music in Kabarak University because they visited this institution and they were surprised because they are a university that is over 100 years old but they don't have what Kabarak University has. Right now our school of law is one that everybody is talking about and um, last year I sent students to compete in an international moot court competition in Geneva, Switzerland uh, to represent this continent having emerged the best in the continent of Africa and um, that means um, we are doing well. In fact, uh, in June, God willing, um, the alternative justice systems will, uh, um, organization will also be mounting a conference with our Kabarak University School of Law in June. So that means, you know, we are being, we are being recognized and um, we are actually making a name for ourselves. If you are looking for a credible university, for your son, for your daughter, for your neighbor, or for a Kenyan citizen or anyone else, you consider Kabarak University. Because this is an institution that is stimulating. And we have competent, we have dedicated, we have supportive and friendly qualified human capital. That is very important. And I would also like to say that um, our university is a respected university that provides value for money. Our academic programs are affordable and that means every student that joins Kabarak University will get superior value for money. Um, so what are you looking for with these uh, you know, difficult economic times? You are looking for quality at affordable cost and uh, you will get that at Kabarak University. And I also want to mention that um, our university is an enriching university that um, guarantees timely completion of study. If you come to Kabarak University, if your program takes four years and you do what you need to do as a student, you will surely graduate within four years. If it is five years like pharmacy, you will actually graduate after five years and proceed. So what else do you want? You don't want to spend 10 years in a four year program or seven years in a five-year program. So that, that is who we are. And above all, I want to also um, um, clearly say that um, from our own experience, Kabarak University is an enriching university. And why am I saying that? We are enriching because we provide a world-class program specific learning facilities. If you go to the School of Music, you will find program specific facilities. So for us, we focus on facilities, and the ratio of facilities to the students and the ratio of the students to the lecturers uh, because we are concerned with quality and our university um, will always have students ranging from 10 to 12,000. We don't want to go beyond that because we are not uh, concerned with mass production. We want to produce quality graduates. All the programs that are mounted by Kabarak University have been accredited by Commission for University Education. And so I recommend Kabarak University to any forward-looking uh, student because we are the university of the future.